Hi everyone, this is Vince um, from Listing Salids, and this is for you, kind of like a training video, to show you how to manage the listings marketing piece of, of our platform. So if I'm sending you um, one of our new uh, clients, as a VA client, and I ask you to manage core tools, and I ask you to manage Facebook advertising, well, Facebook advertising, I think you fully understand. Um, and there's always more to learn there. We're always going to keep you up to date with work, what works there. But what you don't maybe fully understand, what I want you to understand, is how you use our platform uh, specifically for our clients, right? So they may have one listing, they may have five, or I have 10 or 20 in here right now. And the key thing to get from each person is to make sure you're up to date on their status, okay? And as soon as something is just listed, and I have one right here, uh, or if it's changed to pending, or if it's sold, whatever status it is, click on this task button. And from here, there are a series of tasks, and those tasks need to be taken care of. In this case, it's just listed, so there are a stack of, of uh, tasks that need to be taken care of. And later on, when you get an open house, where well, you set the open house, and then you go and you follow these tasks. And when the property is pending, you go and you do all these tasks. So I want to make sure you know how this page works. This is uh, social media, your social media, meaning this is either for an agent or it's for a client, right? So in this case, based on what status the home is, you're either going to post to their social media, the listing landing page, or the single property website. So I want you to know this one for sure, uh, the difference of when to use these. When a home is coming soon, just listed, open house or active, I recommend you share this um, listing landing page. And you can share it just by clicking the share button right here, right? And that's going to open up. You can't quite see it. It's over on the left because I didn't uh, open the full screen here. But that's going to open up Facebook. And you, you're going to post to the client's web page, either their business page or their personal page or both. And you'll write something nice about the home there and you'll post, right? Um, you sh I really recommend that you post to their LinkedIn uh, and Twitter and Google Plus, and it's the same sort of thing, right? You click on the button, you write that same message on the home, and you push it. So you'll need to make sure you're getting all that login stuff. Pinterest is very good, but not many agents know about Pinterest. So it's kind of your, you know, if you want to get into that, it's a very useful place for lead generation, just not a lot of people know it. So once you've shared this, you would uh, check this box. And that's saving the date so that we know that it's been done. Okay. Now, one, I'm going to go back in and remind you that if the home is pending or just sold, use the single property website. I think this is a little bit better designed to capture listing leads in there. Seller social media. You may or may not know what, notice if I click it, it puts in the, the date there. This is designed to go to the homeowners sphere of influence to their friends and family and colleagues. So you want to get this message to the homeowner and you want to copy the agent. Now, if you click send, this tool will go to the agent. This little message here needs to be copied and sent. This will just automatically go to the agent. You can also in the, uh, by editing the listing, put in the homeowner's address and I'll show you, um, what that looks like in a second. Uh, but notice you can also look here and see what these tools are going to look like. In this case, it's saying, hey, our home just sold. We want to recommend the agent at their office. Here's their num number and email address. So we want these tools. There's a different message for every status change, right? And that's why you come in here and you go through each status to make sure that we get it out. So if I click this button, it's going to send it to the agent. And you should send them a message, a follow-up right then. Say, hey, that's for you. You got a Facebook email and you got a e-flyer. Forward those to your clients and call your client and tell them to get them. So I'm going to kind of, and, and once you've done that, you close this up here 
and you check the box. And again, we know that you got that done, right? Now, the social media share button, this is only necessary to work with um, when we click that share button, when we share it to LinkedIn, when we share it to Facebook. This right here allows um, you to manage that, right? So if you're well, you know, the client doesn't like red and they'd rather have a blue uh, banner there. Okay, well, that's how you change it. Okay. Now you don't need to do that. I think the default stuff works very well, but if that were asked, that's how you would change it. Okay. So in a way you don't need to mess with that. It's really just, it's there because some clients do like to work with that. The single property website, uh, we've already gotten it out because we shared it here. So if you want, you can just check that and say, yeah, we shared the single property website. We shared it up here for that status already. Close there. Um, virtual tour. Now, the branded virtual tour, you really only need to do this at the just listed phase. When the market, uh, when the when the property changes to open house, the status will change. Um, and when it goes to pending, the status will change again and just sold it, it will change. But the point of this virtual tour, and I'm going to open it up uh, by clicking view, is you want to get it onto the client's. Give me a second. Onto the client's best kind of platforms. And you need to sort of know this one. Um, this is called a branded virtual tour. And most MLSs in the country do not allow for a branded virtual tour. They might allow for a not unbranded, right? And you can click here and get to unbranded. I'm actually not a fan of unbranded virtual tours at all, just because they don't generate leads, okay? So what I want to make sure you're doing for all of our clients is you ask them, the, the, one of the first questions you ask should be, does your MLS allow for a branded, uh, I'm, yeah, a branded virtual tour? And if they say yes, which won't be all the time, then copy this link at the top. It's the URL at the top of this virtual tour and put it in the... MLS for them because that's a branded virtual tour. You can even copy the link right here where it says copy. All right. If the client says no, they don't, then I recommend you copy this branded virtual tour and you go directly to their um, listings on Zillow and Trulia. You can edit their listings there and you can drop their vir the, the virtual tours there. And these things are designed to capture these forms. So that's what we want you to do. If the client is with Keller Williams, you can put it in KWLS. It's kind of a syndication platform for them. And just, you can give them the link. You can copy this link and give it to them and say, hey, would you put that in KWLS on your listing? They should be able to figure that out. If the agent is with a Realogy brand, and Realogy is an umbrella corporation that owns the con com uh, real estate companies, Coldwell Banker, Century 21, Better Homes and Gardens, ERA, and Sotheby's. Okay, so we have a lot of clients from all of those companies. So you will want to give that branded virtual tour to them and say, please put this in Crest. Just so you know, a lot of agents don't know what Crest is. It's usually something managed by their head marketing person. It's not something open to every agent in an office but it's a really powerful syndication uh, platform. So if you can get that branded virtual tour to them and kind of steer them to get over and find that, many of the companies, because I just named off five major real estate brands, many of these companies call Crest, which is spelled C-R-E-S-T, they call it something different They do, than Crest. They don't all call it Crest. So it's a little bit of a a nuance or a finesse to get that to happen, but definitely get that happening for those folks. That'll get the most out of it. Now, there's also an e-flyer to announce this. And by the way, once you've done that, once you've got that virtual tour to a client, save it and close it, okay? <clears throat> and then there's the e-flyer for the database. Now, an e-flyer for a database is actually a really powerful tool that can go it's showcasing a home and this home is just listed 
So if you sent this out, this hyperlink and this photo would take the consumers directly to the online tool. So it's great for capturing leads. It also has an embedded home value. This link here and this picture here will take the consumers to the agent's home value property valuation landing page. And then the signature is down here with all the clients favorite lead generation links. Okay. So not all of our clients are going to have a email database. And that's something like Constant Contact or MailChimp. There are a lot of software platforms that agents collect their emails and they blast out messages. If that's the case, that they have that, <clears throat> they can copy this. They can co and you, you can copy it and put it in their MailChimp. You can copy it and put it in their uh, Constant Contact and blast it out. You want to communicate this with the agent first so that they know do you like to send these kinds of things out? Do you like to tell your whole database that you have something just listed? Do you like to tell your whole database that you have a home that's open house? Or do you like to tell your whole database that you have something just sold? That might be too many communications for a lot of agents and they may say no. So you just need to understand that and explain that to the client and see if that's what they're gonna to wanna to do. There's also this button here, which if you click send here, it will just send them in this whole e-flyer. And you notice there's some green lines here. That's just for formatting. When you receive it in your email, it's just a clean white email. You won't see all that, but we, you will see the graphics and you'll see these links and you'll see the, the signature bar for the client. And these are all clickable lead capture kind of tools. So you could, you know, if the client said, well, I have a couple hundred emails in my Gmail. I just want to send this, click send, and it'll send it to that agent and the agent can forward it on to those folks, okay? Um, once you've done that, what do you do? You check this box so that we know you've done it. And then sellers, e-flyer sphere of influence. We kind of looked at the Facebook one, but there's an e every time there's an e-flyer, there's a Facebook ad. Again, it's designed to get in front of the seller and build a referral base in front of the seller's friends and family and colleagues. The home is just listed. There's the information on the home. There's favorite lead generation links. Again, once you get it out, what do you do? You check the box that saves a date, you close it and you move on. Now, print flyer for buyers, I suggest you just send this to somebody, right? I'm meaning, uh, sorry, not somebody, but I suggest you send one of these, um, download uh, one and find out what ends up being the favorite. You can choose your favorite, but download it um, and uh, download print and, and send it to the client. That way they have a print flyer for each status. And again, save it there, close it, move to the next. Now, print flyers are flyers designed uh, for print, but they're designed for something called door knocking, which means if I have a home for sale, on this street, and there's the address so I know where it is, I wanted to have a flyer that I can print and go knock on the doors of the neighbors, the people who live nearby and say, hey, there's a home for sale over here. Just thought you'd wanna know. So get this tool to the client every time. Just click send, all right? So this is something that you cannot do, but you can send it to the client and that way they'll have it and they will know what to do. But you might want to follow up and say, hey, I just sent you a, an, an email for door knocking. And I would ask them, do they want, do they do door knocking? A lot of people won't. But a lot of agents who are really aggressive in growing their business, this is a super smart thing to do. And they will absolutely love this. You will find that there are some saying, no, I just don't have time for door knocking. That's fine. Either way, put that in there. And move on. Now, if in the end they say, I, I just never do door knocking, right? Then you can sort of skip that task. Open house sign in form. When you get the open house, um, you can check that and that'll be there. Now, blog post, you would only do that if people have blogs. Um, and you should ask every agent, I hope you're asking them what kind of website they have, if they have a blog, and specifically if they have Playster. Playster is a kind of website that's very popular in the United States, and it is a blog platform. So you could give these tools to the agent 
uh, or perhaps you could do it yourself. You could embed these tools on their website, okay? Uh, and then Craigslist, not everybody uses 800 number call capture, but if you are a client of ours as a VA client, I think we ask all of our VA clients to have text writers. So they may not be printing writers, and you may not know what a sign writer is, um, but there is an extension for every property. And so in this case, if I text that 2385 to the number 25678, I as a consumer will get some automated information about this home in my phone. And agents love this technology because they can get a lot of leads with phones in them, phone numbers in them, and that's a great thing. So, but if they're a client or a VA client, it's a requirement that they have text IVR. So you can you can send this information to them. You might want to ask, do they print sign writers? Even if they don't print sign writers, um, the when we're running Facebook ads, you want to use those text codes. Okay, so you can only check this. You only need to check it if they're printing sign writers, but definitely get that text writer code uh, to whoever is uh, running the ads for that account. Instagram, I think there's a, a, a note here and it tells you how to get to Instagram. Uh, YouTube listing video. This is, uh, we wanna make sure we get all the videos up to YouTube, so you may need to click this, but for most clients it happens automatically. And if it's happened automatically, Ideally, we put it here, but once you know it's up, check that so we know it's there. So in the end, um, I we want to make sure that we're communicating back to our clients. So I would take a picture of this, and, and basically you saw me go through this, and I think for a client, this to go through all of this, it might take you 15 minutes, right? But once it's done, take a picture of this, and because once you've completed it, you've sent most of this stuff to the client, right? So once you're finished, take a picture of this page and send it and just say, just want you to know, we did all of this for that address and the home is completed in marketing in just in the just listed status. And maybe a week, they're gonna say, hey, we're having an open house on that property. Well, in that case, you'll click on edit, you'll create the open house and then come back here and go through all the open house and go through the same steps. You won't need to uh, work with the virtual tour because the virtual tour automatically updates. You will need to get the open house message out on social media to the seller. Um, you'll, you definitely want to have a print flyer for nearby home uh, homeowners. That is a definite during open houses. That's a, that's a real time that many agents, even if they don't door knock, they will do that. Uh, and then just sort of follow, you know, the rest of them. Some of them, like the text writer, you don't need to change, right? That's the same text code. It's it's just sort of following the property. Um, but again, update your your task by checking this box and get this snapshot over to them. The YouTube video, um, it was already done, but you can you can check it if you want to just show that it's done. Once you put YouTube up there once, it's it's sort of complete. So. The, the bottom line is I want to, one, make sure that everything is getting done, but two, this is a good way to communicate back and forth to the client say, hey, we did all these, right? In this case, not a whole lot is done, but over here, a lot of the tasks are done because we just did them together. So you take a picture, send that to the client. They sort of know what's going on. Um, and every, just to wrap it up, every status, you will go through that task list for all the listings that they have, okay? If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me. Thanks so much for looking at this. Bye-bye.